Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The Valley star Jax Taylor is opening up about his life-changing diagnosis. He just exited an inpatient mental health treatment facility after less than a month. For quite some time, he has tried and left therapy for a bevy of reasons. Then, his marriage fell apart and his anger was out of control. So he headed to get some help and learned a lot about himself. Keep reading for all of the details. When Jax Taylor's marriage to Brittany Cartwright fell apart, he should have been doing something to fix it. That is, if he wanted to and he claimed he did. In the season one finale of The Valley, Jax said he was going to see a therapist which made Brittany happy and have some hope, but he never ended up going. It appeared he only made the appointment for the show with no real plan of doing anything. Brittany had made it clear there was a lot Jax needed to work on, but that was not happening. As season two was taking off, Jax entered an inpatient mental health treatment facility. He claimed he was doing it for their son, Cruz, but it was also alleged he was doing it to keep his job with Bravo. Jax was there for less than a month when he left and returned to filming the show. Within days, he was served divorce papers from Brittany, but the show had to go on, and they kept filming. Now, Jax is sharing what he learned while in treatment via his Instagram along with his life-changing diagnosis. Not only does he have bipolar disorder, but the Vanderpump Rules alum was also diagnosed with PTSD. Jax Taylor noted that he always knew something was off with him, but he was not sure what. Now, he has a clearer picture of it and is still understandably scared. He has no idea what the future holds, but he is learning more every day. Jax Taylor thanked those who reached out to him during this time and fans sent in a lot of kind words of encouragement. Of course, some criticized him and wanted Jax to share more about his past trauma. They also believed he was just seeking sympathy, but he is brave for trying to fix what is broken. Are you shocked by the diagnosis or not so much? Let us know in the comments below. Amanda has been a professional freelance writer for over a decade, holding both a BA and an MA. Her passions include animals, iced coffee, gnomes, summer, music, and Vanderpump rules. In a world that often glorifies perfection and curated personas, Jax Taylor, known for his role in the hit reality TV show Vanderpump Rules, has always been an enigma, an epitome of charm and contradictions. From his on-screen escapades to his off-screen endeavors, Taylor's life has been a whirlwind of highs and lows, but it is his recent revelation of a life-changing diagnosis that has profoundly shifted the narrative of his journey. The diagnosis in question is not just a medical condition, but a profound shift in the way Taylor perceives his existence and interacts with the world. As he opens up about his condition, Taylor invites us into a deeply personal chapter of his life, marked by both vulnerability and resilience. The news came as a shock not only to Taylor's devoted fan base but also to him. A routine medical checkup had revealed an unexpected and life-altering diagnosis. It felt like the ground was pulled out from under me, Taylor admits. One moment I was going about my life as usual and the next, I was grappling with something that felt insurmountable. Taylor's condition, a rare autoimmune disorder, challenges him daily. It's a disease where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues, leading to chronic pain and a host of other debilitating symptoms. The diagnosis has altered every facet of his life, from his physical abilities to his emotional state, and even his public persona. Initially, Taylor struggled with denial and anger. Why me? Why now? Were questions that plagued his mind. The transition from a life of glamour and seemingly endless possibilities to one defined by medical appointments and unpredictable symptoms was jarring. He found himself navigating a new reality, one where the simple act of getting out of bed in the morning could be a Herculean task. But as time passed, Taylor began to accept his condition. The journey towards acceptance was neither quick nor smooth. It involved therapy, support from loved ones, and a gradual shift in his outlook on life. Acceptance doesn't come overnight, he reflects. It's a daily process. Some days are better than others, and that's okay. One of the most striking aspects of Taylor's openness about his diagnosis is his willingness to be vulnerable. In an industry known for its polished facades and perfect images, Taylor's candidness stands out. 
I used to be all about putting on a show, he says, but now I find strength in being real, even when it's uncomfortable. Sharing his story publicly has been both therapeutic and challenging. Taylor has become a source of inspiration for many who face similar health struggles. His social media platforms, once a stage for glamorous snapshots and party scenes, now serve as a space for advocacy and awareness. If my story can help even one person feel less alone, then it's worth it, he explains. The diagnosis has led Taylor to reassess his definition of success. Previously, success for him was tied to fame, fortune, and social status. Today, it is more about personal growth, resilience, and finding joy in the everyday moments. I've learned that success isn't just about external achievements. It's about how you handle the challenges life throws at you and how you find happiness to spite them. This new perspective has influenced not only his personal life, but also his career. Taylor has shifted his focus towards projects that resonate with his journey and values. He's involved in initiatives aimed at raising awareness about autoimmune disorders and supporting others who face similar battles. One of the most significant sources of support for Taylor has been the community he has built around his journey. His fans, fellow celebrities, and health advocates have rallied around him, offering encouragement and solidarity. The outpouring of support has been overwhelming, he says. It's incredible to see how many people care and are willing to stand with me. Taylor has also become involved in various support groups and charitable organizations, using his platform to amplify voices that might otherwise go unheard. This newfound purpose has been a source of strength and motivation. It's about giving back and making a difference, he explains. That's what really matters to me now. Adapting to his new reality has meant embracing a different kind of normalcy. Taylor now practices self-care and mindfulness techniques that help him manage his symptoms and maintain his mental well-being. He's also taken up new hobbies and interests that align with his current lifestyle, finding joy in activities that are less physically demanding but equally fulfilling. His relationship with his loved ones has deepened as well. The support from his partner and family has been invaluable, providing a foundation of love and understanding. Having people around who truly care and support you makes all the difference, he says. I'm grateful for their unwavering presence in my life. As Taylor looks to the future, he remains hopeful and determined. His diagnosis has undoubtedly changed his life, but it has also given him a new perspective and purpose. I'm still figuring things out, and that's okay, he reflects. The journey isn't over. It's just taken a different path. Taylor's story is a powerful reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is strength to be found. His openness and resilience serve as an inspiration to many, demonstrating that vulnerability can be a source of empowerment and that true success lies in embracing life's challenges with courage and grace. In the end, Jax Taylor's journey through the valley of his diagnosis is not just about the trials he faces, but also about the triumphs he achieves along the way. It's a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt, grow, and find hope in the most unexpected places.